130 power. Hundred thirty power. That's in bolts. Are you in line? Yeah. It's a long line. It's a long line. Sorry, guys. I think you'd see it driving around. Yeah. Figures. Are they going to do it in that room?
You look great. You've been getting it together, huh? Yeah. Been working out really hard, huh? Yeah. Hi, Fred. That's a lot of hard work. Are you doing that all the time now? All the way to midnight. Oh, wow, that's an awful long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Are you hanging out today? Yeah, I've seen the big call, Mike. Are you good? Yeah. DJ 700. Oh, goodness, look at that. Under 30 power. JK seven
of the agency. Uh, for those who are new to the agency, uh, Karen Hospeth was a longtime employee of MISCA who passed away suddenly a few years ago. Karen was an outstanding advocate for consumers and families. Karen was loved by everyone she came in contact with. Our board and staff were compelled to memorialize Karen in her outstanding work at MISCA with the Meaningful Differences Award. You may have seen the uh, purple Meaningful Differences nomination forms. I have one, but I don't have that many hands to pull it out. But, uh, you may have seen the nomination forms. Uh, those doing the nominating And uh, those, those people who are eligible to nominate, of course, would be consumers, family members, um, and fellow employees. Uh, so uh, for those doing the nominating, uh, uh, the, the uh, nominators, so to speak, were asked to give examples as to how the, the staff member partners with individuals and families, uh, delivers excellent services, promotes dignity, respect, independence and diversity, um, how this uh, person demonstrates uh, MISCA's core values, and really any other things uh, that the person has done to make meaningful differences. Uh, the Meaningful uh, Differences Award winner will receive a certificate, uh, their name on a plaque, which is prominently displayed at the agency here, um, and a $1,500 award, and that award is to be used for professional or personal growth. Um, our 2011 award winner was Kane Newman. Um, let's give a hand for Kane. And uh, Kane, I, I think you used it for personal growth. So what did, what did you do with that? You know we're playing bingo. Come on, right here, Bought a beautiful guitar. And how's that going? You didn't, you didn't, you didn't bring it today? Well, well, thank you, King, and I'm glad you're here today and uh, to be acknowledged once again for your good work. It sounds like you got uh, a lot of enjoyment uh, with that award, so thank you. Did you hear that? Kanan doesn't take lessons. He gives lessons. All right. All right, way to go. Uh, so this year, we have uh, seven nominees for the 2012 Karen Hudspeth Meaningful Differences Award. So when I, if if, those, if you are present and your name is called, if you could please come forward uh, to be acknowledged. Um, and these are in alphabetical order. Jean Calhoun. Where's Jean? Jean Calhoun, come on up. Calhoun. Amy Dale. Amy. Jennifer Downs. Jennifer here. Right. Tamara Durrett. Tamara. Is Tamara here? All right. Oh my God, this is They're going to have a hard time choosing. And I'm, I'm, I apologize, Angela, but if I say, mispronounce your last name, Angela Guggen, is that right? Angela Guggen. Sorry. Angela Guggen. Sorry about that. Um, Dixie Goldsmith. Dixie And, uh, last but not least, Ginger Ray. Ginger Ray.
let's give a big round of applause for our seven nominees. Uh, thanks so much for your good work. And with no further ado, uh, we'd like to don't go anywhere. This is like uh, American Idol or something. How do we do this? You two over there on the couch. You're around. Uh, what? All right. Uh, I guess with no further ado, uh, I'd like to announce this year's award winner, Cameron Durant. Yeah. Certificates for all the nominees, and uh, don't go anywhere. Too much. There's your award-winning certificate. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, all have probably seen this plaque. Yeah. So your name will now go down in infamy, Cameron. <laughs> 2012 John Hutzberg Meaningful Differences Award. <laughs> Thank you, Cameron. Thank you. Okay, I don't got that. Um, and the consumers I work with, um, I would like to work out it. So um, this makes it a lot easier. And um, thanks to all of you guys. Um, I love working with all of you. Thank you. Yay. Thank you, Kevin. Congratulations. Well done. Well, uh, I'm afraid that our borough mayor got tied up. Is Larry here? Larry, the us, okay. He's our special guest, our borough mayor, Larry DeVilbus. Thanks for being with us. I know how busy your schedule is, Larry, so thanks. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you. I, I need to apologize. When I looked at this this morning, it said 5.30, so I was up on the car. I didn't realize that was the date, not the time. <laughs> Hi, Corilla. Yeah, but we got a new a new calf out of out of the morning anyway. But but I've got a proclamation here. This is one of the things that I get to do that I enjoy most and uh, really appreciate uh, the services. And I've got to admit that uh, I've got kind of a conflict of interest because my own brother. <laughs> Uh, benefits from services of this institution and and uh, we really look forward to the day when you're going to be up where you've got a little more parking space <laughs> anyway this is a proclamation from the mayor's office with uh, official signature and seal from myself and, and the borough clerk. Whereas Matsu Services for Children and Adults has provided over 27 years of quality services to the Matsu Borough, and whereas the 275 employees of the Matsu Services for Children and Adults serve a variety of human there's, there's service like needs for the residents like of the Matsu Borough, and whereas these employees are deserving of recognition, and, and whereas the Board of Directors of the Matsu there. Services for Children and Adults has designated May 30th, 2012 as Employee Appreciation Day, and whereas on behalf of all the residents of the Matsu Borough, I wish to recognize the employees for their diligent work, commitment, dedication, and tireless effort to make a difference in the lives of hundreds of local residents. Now therefore be it resolved that I, Larry DeVilbus, Mayor of the Matsu Borough, designate 
May 30th, 2012, as Matt Sue Services Sometimes for Children it. and Adults oh, okay. Employee <laughs> Appreciation Day. That's announced. Thank you so much, Mayor DeBelbus. And uh, again, I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to be with us today. <laughs> oh, well, that's all right. We understand. And delivering our new calf. So you, did you get any sleep? Uh, Mayor, somebody. You know, okay, right, okay. I don't well, you know, sometimes. Well, again, thanks so much. Let's, let's give a hand to our mayor. Yay.